My name is Derek Smith. I play football, I play defensive line at Hope College, and I'm also on the track team. When I was uh, seven years old, I was playing football in the living room. My mom, my two sisters, and I were all getting ready for my brother's high school football game. I threw the ball up, caught it, came down, and my leg just had a very, very sharp pain. So then the next day we went to the hospital and they discovered that I had pseudothrosis of the tibia and NF1 neurofibromatosis number one. Um, and there was lesions on my tibia and they gave me the option of amputation. Uh, at first, when I was uh, eight years old, I thought that there was no way that I wanted to lose my leg. So I was like, no, let's just push towards uh, not having the amputation and just seeing if it's possible if I could keep my leg and if the cancer will go away. The next year, the lesions came back. My leg would break when I would walk down the sidelines being a water boy football team. And during this time, we would watch the Olympics and Paralympics. Uh, and so just seeing that was just, was just a cool vision that I had that my dreams could come true of playing football. And I discovered that I did not want to sit on the sidelines anymore. Um, that I wanted to be a part of the game. Uh, and to play the game. So then on um, April 24, 2012, um, I had my leg amputated. At first I was enjoyed that I was able to get back to it, um, but then at the same time, I wish I had my leg back. And it was, that was probably the saddest time um, that I felt. And I said, hey mom, I hold my leg back. And she's like, well, you decided that you want to leave your leg amputated for a reason to get back to the football field. And so you have to stick with that situation. And my mom's not one to pity. Uh, she always drives me, which I appreciate so much. I mean, now looking back, I could really and see how hard it actually was um, to see your own child go through this crazy and bizarre thing that should not happen to anybody. Having a child that has cancer can be so tough on a parent. Uh, very thankful that she was strong and um, made me better every day and just forced me to put that leg on when I didn't want to go to school. So the motto um, from our team at Hope College um, football is showing up and uh, it's, it's been a motto throughout my family um, whether I knew it or not. Um, it's always been like just get 1% better every day. Like my mom used to yell at me to get my leg on to go to, go to school. Uh, that was just her showing up for me and making me 1% better every day. People were able to show up for show up for me when I was going through this, um, and just be able to have that support, um, having that community of people, uh, just brought the worry of cancer not to the side, but it definitely helped. Um, it made me realize that I was actually able to go through this, um, and I wasn't alone. Um, it was a big part of how I got through it, and that's and that's what American Cancer Society does. They they able to show up for the families and um, and the patient itself, just to make sure that. They're, they're, they are able to go through it and that they are able to get the 1% better every day um, to, to reach the 100% at the end. But to have the support from American Cancer Society and people like you really does help and bring back um, the hope for the patient um, as well as the family.